So, you guys, I figured out the big twist for episode 8 that nobody else is talking about. Hear me out. So there's this scene in episode 7 where BB-8 gets returned to the Resistance base. Everybody calls him by name, and Leia seems really familiar with him. He immediately goes off to hang out with C-3PO and R2-D2, or like R2-D2's unconscious body. Anyway, this immediately felt weird to me. The Resistance must have thousands of disposable astromech droids. R2-D2 and C-3PO hold special places as basically like keepsakes, or like souvenirs of Luke and Leia's crazy adventures. Why is BB-8 part of this crew? Like, on the same level as these other droids. I was like, it's probably because BB-8's the mascot of this movie, and he's important in the universe of the movie because they need to sell him on all these posters and plush toys. They want to sell a lunchbox of him standing next to C-3PO and R2-D2, so they need a scene in the movie where they're all in one place. And then I was like, no. It's actually a subtle clue to an elaborate twist they're planning for the next movie. I mean, Han Solo seems to like BB-8 too. You know, when Finn and Rey go to hide on his ship, he makes them leave BB-8 above decks with him. And hey, like, remember that scene with Kylo Ren and General Hux? Kylo Ren is like, I want that droid unharmed. Careful, Ren, that you not let your personal interests interfere with, like, the... I'm, I'm doing the hair. He has red hair. Personal interests is my point. Then Kylo Ren gets like really mad when they can't get the droid. And then when he finds Rey in the forest, he convinces his troops to leave with just her and leave BB-8 alone, even though he's gotta be nearby. Like, man, is BB-8 important to this family. And then I'm like, hey, what do we know about Kylo Ren? Well, he's Han and Leia's kid, so he probably grew up around resistance bases. He idolizes Darth Vader and does everything Darth Vader did. So what do we know about Darth Vader? Well, he was a powerful force user. He worked for the bad guy. Guys. He wore black and a mask that made his voice really deep. Oh, and when he was a kid, he built droids. Okay, so I'm interested in that last one. When Poe tells Finn about BB-8, he says, it's a BB unit, one of a kind. Well, why is it one of a kind? Because it was hand-built by Ben Solo. I'm just saying, if Ben Solo built a droid when he was a kid, that droid would probably still have a lot of sentimental value to Han and Leia. Probably have a place in the family, like R2-D2 and C-3PO. Would probably be like a high honor to have that as your astromech droid. Like, probably if you were the best pilot in the Resistance. And what does BB-8 stand for, anyway? Well, it's generally accepted as canon among fans that Ben Solo was probably a dorky and stupid child who did dumb things and had no friends. There is literally no doubt in my mind that had Ben Solo constructed a droid, he would have named it Ben Bot. Probably Ben Bot 9000, but then for practicality's sake, he just named them in the order he made them. And we keep seeing that Ben Solo is tempted by the light. This explains his hidden desire to protect Ben Bot 8 from harm. Ultimately, BB 8 will be the catalyst for Kylo's redemption arc. I mean, when he finds out Ray's only a scavenger and BB 8 trusts her with the map, he seems almost offended. You, a scavenger, a lowly, he's. How, how is he doing? Is he okay? Did, he mentioned me to you at all? BB-8 and Kylo didn't interact with each other at all in any scene in the film, and this is no mistake. They are setting it up. Like, picture this. We are all sitting in the theater at episode 8. It's the midnight premiere. We're eating popcorn, unless it's an AMC theater where you need a Stubbs card membership to get a free refill on a large. All of a sudden, Kylo Ren's like, no, BB-8. I am your father. Oh, uh, who's that? Oh, that's Rey. You, like, I think you met her once in the last movie. Oh, I guess, like, she wasn't important in this movie. This whole movie's about BB-8. I didn't even get to the most convincing evidence yet. We see a ton of R2 units other than R2-D2 in the Star Wars universe, but we only see one BB-8. Why is that? Maybe you've heard of the Knights of Ren? Some people think they found some official concept art of them in the art books. Huh. Looks like there's seven of them. That's right. BB's one through seven left with Kylo Ren when he defected to the First Order. BB-8, purest of heart, was the only one to stay behind. Yep, Ben Solo built seven burly humanoid robots and then was like, and for my next design, this. Still not convinced? I don't even think that's possible. Kylo Ren's official title is Master of the Knights of Ren. Not leader, not commander, master. And what does C-3PO call Luke Skywalker? Master Luke. 
work. Coincidence? There's literally no such thing. Star Wars has always told stories of corruption, morality, redemption. It's obvious that this new trilogy is going to be all about BB-8 and his struggle to stay true to his good nature when faced with the temptation of the dark side. I can't wait to watch episode BB-8 and find out how right I am.